how may you start your journey it's like a very very calm place it's yeah. a very like it's a very good place i mean if you want to go and study there i mean the it's good i mean and even anyone who is pursuing like an engineering education must i mean already knows i mean must know about uh, about this recognition known as abit it's a it's the american board of engineering oh, and technology okay. this okay. degree is affiliated with and with an american board awesome. yeah this university basically this university was providing me with a degree mm. which was affiliated with the american board i wanted to you know i wanted to like experience something different and cyprus yeah. was like a best option for me at that time things were also good over there as well in respect to studies and everything as well living conditions were also good there. so over when here. you apply for the masters uh, what are the or which are the university you get the offer from them there were three universities from where from which i got like uh, offer letter offer letter is there any advice uh, which you could give to the international student or those who are looking forward for study abroad purposes or the immigrant السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام طلا بھائی ہاؤ ار یو آئی ایم گڈ ہاؤ ار یو الحمدللہ ہم کتو ہاؤز ایوری تھنگ گوئنگ ایوری تھنگ گڈ ایوری تھنگ گڈ الحمدللہ ہاؤ ار یو فرسٹ آف آل طلا بھائی جزاک اللہ خیر فار یور پریشس ٹائم تھینک یو ایز آئی آسک یو فار دس انٹرویو اینڈ یو سیڈ ٹو می گو اہیڈ یا یا جسٹ فار دی سیک اف دوز ہو ار لوکنگ فار فار دی اسٹڈی ابراڈ یا سو ایز ویل گونا اسٹارٹ دات فرسٹ آف آل دات how may you start your journey i mean what's your first degree first of all introduce yourself uh, how may you came here yeah so my name is mohammad alhawali and uh, so basically my background is in mechanical engineering i did my basically oa level studies my high school from pakistan islamabad and then after that i decided to study in cyprus to pursue a bachelor's education from over there so after completing my bachelor's in mechanical engineering I came uh, back to Pakistan. Sorry yeah. to sorry to interrupt yeah. you. Can you please celebrate the Cyprus? Cyprus studies. Yes, uh, everything. How everything was in Cyprus, yeah. 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 So basically, yeah, Cyprus was good. Everything was good. I mean, uh, I mean basically in Cyprus, yeah. Uh, you went to Turkey for this BSc in the Cyprus. Yeah. So yeah. just uh, let them know how many you pursue the Cyprus. So, yeah, with respect to I mean, Cyprus it, it's like a very very calm place. It's yeah. a very like it's a very good place. I mean, if you want to go and study there, I mean the it's good. I mean and even the uh, education system in Cyprus that's also really good. The university that I studied in was Eastern Mediterranean University and anyone who is pursuing like an engineering education must I mean already knows I mean must know about uh, about this recognition known as ABIT. It's a it's the American Board of Engineering oh, and okay. Technology. It's and this in one, Turkey. No basically it's in America. Okay. But these are some recognition boards that give that give you know recognition to a particular so, education level in different in universities all around the okay. world. Okay, we can and say that it's uh, yeah. this degree is affiliated with uh, America. Yes, yes, this okay. degree is affiliated with um, and with an American board. So, Got it. Yeah, this university basically this university was providing me with a degree mm-hmm. which was affiliated with the American board. So b- on based on that also I chose this university, and moreover I, I wanted to you know I wanted to like experience something different, and Cyprus yeah. was like a best option for me at that time yeah so that's uh, that's why i went to cyprus and you know things were also good over there as well with respect to studies and everything as well living conditions were also good there i mean when i went there like food was cheap but now i mean um, i'm not very sure about it because i've heard that you know things are getting like a bit yeah, expensive yeah yeah as and dollar so, is getting yeah, yeah by the higher yeah, so exactly. that's the reason yeah agreed agreed yeah uh, how about your after the bachelor So after bachelor's I came back to Pakistan I decided to like uh, do some get some kind of a work experience from Pakistan yeah. So when I came to Pakistan I mean some complications happened I mean I I wouldn't want to go into the details of them but the thing is that I mean I decided to like I was doing a few internships in Pakistan yeah. I did a few internships there I worked I worked in a few companies and I mean for 3 years I did that and I mean I was unfortunate with respect to like finding you know some suitable mm-hmm. jobs related to my field in pakistan so i decided to like pursue a higher education from yeah. you know, some other place and then after pursuing my education from there i'll be looking for like job opportunities from there so when i was doing that yeah. i decided to like uh, study in uk to uh, look for universities in uk uh, and then after graduating i can look okay. for a job over there so over when here. you apply for the masters uh, what are the or which are the university you get the offer from them so when i applied in the uk basically i got uh, you offer you apply for the msc in MSc mechanical. mechanical engineering yeah 
So basically when I applied for the MSc in Mechanical Engineering, from, I decided to study in UK. So basically there were three universities from, where, from which I got like uh, offer, letter. offer letters. Yeah. So the first one was Manchester Metropolitan University, the second one was Bradford University and the third one was Huddersfield, the one in which I am right now. Yeah. So I mean I decided to like look into each of them. Now with Manchester Metropolitan University the thing was that I was accepted in the aeronautical engineering discipline. Uh. Yeah. So I decided I wanted to like study in the MSc mechanical engineering discipline. I didn't want it to go into like a specific field. Got I it. wanted to make it generic. Yeah. So based on that Manchester Metropolitan University was like out of the option. Yeah. And moreover, I mean, with respect to fee as well, it was a bit expensive. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't go for that option. Now we, now we are left with two options, Bradford and Huddersfield. Yeah. Now with Bradford University, I mean, I was also, basically I was getting a scholarship for both, both of these University. universities, I was getting scholarship. Now with Bradford University, the thing is that um, I, I mean, I was getting scholarship and everything. But I decided to look into the education faculty as well. Look into how their education was, how their, how their teachers were and everything. So with, with respect to that, when I compared both of these universities, I found that the Huddersfield University was better with regards to education, facilities and all these types of things. Other so than that, uh, other than that uh, as uh, I had heard that, in, the, in this university they have a loss of award in the different departments. Uh, either it is uh, health science or engineering or business management. I mean, this year they got the award in the business management. The previous years they have an yeah. award in the engineering and health science. And yeah. as every year they are getting some awards. Yeah, and they have good teachers as well. I mean, yeah, the uh, faculty well, staff and the yeah. labs. Yeah, faculty and staff. Yeah, especially, especially the labs. The labs yeah. are really good. And moreover, I mean, when I came, I mean, that was something, I mean, when, when I was, you know, researching about this university, I didn't knew like much about how everything would be. But when I came and when I started studying here, that's when I realized that I've made like the right option because the amount of assignments that they would give you, the amount of tasks they would give you and the amount of softwares that those assignments would require for you to work at, that would like really enhance your skills yeah. with respect to all those softwares and everything. I mean, I was studying in bachelors as well in Cyprus and it was, just, they were the same software that I was, I was studying. However, my skills in those softwares they were actually enhanced, uh, they were increased when I came to this university because they actually do require from you to work in these softwares, like on a serious level. <coughs> it wasn't like that in Cyprus. Sorry. I mean, things are more practical here. So yeah. I was, I was uh, basically, I didn't regret my decision. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, apart of that, uh, how did you find your seniors and your badge mate? Uh, other than that, uh, those who are supervising you, how many did you find that? Did they help you in your course? Yeah, yeah, they were all, they were all like, like really good. My teachers were very helpful of me. I mean, basically, whenever I'd be sitting in the lab, I mean, if I'm struggling with something, if you have your teachers, they would come to you and they would sit with you and they wouldn't leave you alone unless your problem is solved. So they would give you like a lot of time and then they would also ask you if you have any problem. You mean, they're easily, access easily accessible, basically. Yeah. You can email them and then they're gonna, they're gonna email you, they're gonna reply you back. If you, if you want to be like, if you want to have a face-to-face -face discussion with them, you can do that as well. So like there are many options and teachers are available as well all the time. Uh, okay. so that's not a problem. That okay. wasn't a problem for me. So it's all about the studies and how about the living accommodation? How did you manage that? Yeah, so with respect to living accommodation and everything. Now, since I wasn't like, I didn't have much experience like in the UK, I didn't knew much about it. So my first option was Diggs student accommodation. So that's when I uh, registered for it, yeah. and when I came to UK, I, I was I lived in Stortz Hall and everything. So basically, my uh, personal it, experience in yeah, Stortz Hall is I think 20 to 25 minutes uh, away from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is. It's like a free shuttle service. I yeah. Mean, so I mean, the travel traveling is not like a problem. I mean, it's a bit far away. Yeah. I mean, we cannot deny this fact. Yeah. However, but the thing is that I mean, you have like a free shuttle bus service, so you can like come and go to the university anytime you want. However, but the thing is that uh, this place, uh, Stortz Hall, was basically, I found it very cheaper as well. Yeah. Um, comparatively to other places that are like near the Huddersfield Town Center. But if someone, if someone is deciding to come over here, and if they, if they can afford to live in places that are like near to the university, that are, that are in the Huddersfield Town Center, yeah. I'd recommend for them to actually live at those places. Mm. Just because of the distance that Stortz Hall has from the university. 
However, I mean, Storz Hall, basically overall, if you could see that Storz Hall is like a better option. If okay. you want to look for a cheaper alternative. And, and okay, but uh, a part of that, as you mentioned that, it's uh, quite far from here. So, yeah. might be there would be uh, some traffic problem in the morning because it's a uh, school time, office time. So, there would be a traffic problem and yeah. it's uh, quite hard. Yes. quite difficult to get into the session mm. time yeah. because you have to be anyhow you have to leave the mm. accommodation uh, yeah. i mean yeah. hour before or i mean you have to make some distance you have to make some compromises yeah yeah mm -hmm. agreed, agreed. Agreed. And everything, yeah okay a part of that how about the job opportunity did you do any time part time job and something like that i mean that? i did a few part time jobs here I mean, but they weren't like that serious because I was mostly I was focused on studying. Uh, One part-time job that I did here was like an invigilator job. Yeah, so in the I, university. In the university, yeah, uh, you uh, basically uh, invigilate. I, I, I think you have to mention that there are, I mean, university offered lots of jobs. I yeah. mean, if we pursue in a good way and yeah. we yeah. hunt in a best way. I mean, if you know that how maybe mm. you have to hunt the job in the university, we can get that easily. Yeah, yeah, you, it's, you can easily get a job in the university. I mean, they offer like a lot of part-time jobs. I mean, that's just one thing that I've mentioned, like, which is a part-time invigilator job. Yeah. I applied for it and I instantly got the job. I mean, there are many other jobs as well. For instance, like, there are a lot of sports activities that take place in the universities. Yeah, yeah there's, there, there are gyms in the universities as well. Yeah. So if you are someone, some, so if you are like a sports enthusiast, you can actually have like a, if, a job if, of like a sports person Even though person uh, university, student union is, uh, student union is uh, I mean, quite active. They yeah. can support you in each and everything. There are more than 100 above yeah. societies. Uh, yeah. There are, I mean, different of games, indoor, outdoors, you can join mm. them. Even though I have heard that they have uh, some activities in the football, basketball, in the cricket as well, where yeah. they can support you for the, I mean, levels. Uh, uh, I don't know better about that, but I know about the cricket because I have uh, mm. some friends from the cricket and they are playing in the what we said that the different stadiums and all and yeah, university has yeah, given yeah, them the opportunity to. they give you a lot of like good playing opportunities i'm basically in my university's volleyball team oh. an official university's volleyball team oh. so we have these these box leagues they are actually these leagues that you have like within the universities all yeah. the universities that are all the universities that are present within the west yorkshire region okay they have all they have this volleyball league in the, so in you the go last to these universities in the last uh, one or two months before there was a yeah, there event was a, where i city uh, war city yes, war city yes, yeah. yeah yeah sadly i couldn't participate in that yeah because uh, that, was, exam, that was that yeah. was a major event yeah. in this uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they have a competition a with Bradford, I think. Yeah, yeah, we won. We beat Bradford. <laughs> that was a good thing. I mean, yeah. I wanted. I mean, I'm, it's just very sad. I mean, I couldn't participate in it, but it's good. I mean, no I worry. Next time. Yeah. Next time, yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A part of that, uh, how about? Mm -hmm. I mean, where did you find yourself uh, after the completion of your MSc in mechanical? So basically, I mean, I'm still planning right now about that because I have I have applied for jobs. Yeah. Related to my field. But I, since I, I have not yet like finished my studies, so I mean that is the main reason why I'm not being prefer, I'm not being selected for the job. But I do think that I mean in UK, I have like a vast of vast opportunities of jobs, vast opportunities with regards to jobs, and I can like get a good job related to my field in this place. And this university is also like a good university. They have like very good companies that are affiliated to them. Yeah. So you can apply for internships as well. You can yeah. apply for placements as well. I mean, even if you can't get like a graduate job, yeah. you can get graduate schemes. There might be, a, there will be a very good chance for you to get a graduate scheme or so internship or a placement. Do university, mm. I mean, help you to get into the jobs? Yes, university, it does help you to get in these, into these jobs. Basically, you have this uh, careers, career and careers and employability page. You can apply for mock interviews over there. You can apply for all these things. And they'll basically, what they're going to do is that they're going to call you for an interview. They're going to take your mock interview. The basically the purpose of that interview is to basically uh, is to like you know it is to make you I feel think like, to yeah. make the environment where you are just yeah. giving the mock interview yeah. then up, yeah. after that when you will gonna mm. get set uh, in the real interview yeah. you won't hesitate yeah it's, it's to make you, you adjust are, to the real environment yeah. make you adjust to the real environment yeah. that you can actually have okay. I mean, just to build your thing, yeah. confidence and motivations yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. just to build your Agree. confidence and Agree. yeah uh, mm. so that's upper, the thing. Yeah. Uh, I have one more question. As I heard that uh, in the MSc program, there is a one-year degree mm. and one and a half-year degree. Could you please celebrate that? So basically, a one-year degree is just like your normal degree, yeah. which is like a degree in which you have like three semesters. 
you have all of these modules that you have to finish within these three semesters. In the third semester, basically, you have an individual project. You work on your individual project exclusively, and then once that individual project is finished in a one-year degree, then you're basically, you're graduated. Now you have finished with your studies. Now you can apply for jobs and everything. Now what, the, what happened with the one and a half year degree is that they offer you placement as well. Now after you have basically in a one and a half year degree now, after you have completed your degree and after you have completed your one year, you have completed your individual project and everything. What the university offers is that they offer you to like work in some kind of a company which might be affiliated from the university as okay. a placement as a as a placement student yeah you can work in that company for like six months and after those six months there's a very good chance that you might be offered a job from that company so that's like basically a university giving you like a certain way providing you with a certain way mm. in your career in path. which you can enhance yeah. your knowledge skills yeah, in, which you can enhance yeah. your, in which you can like basically uh, flourish in the in, in the pra in practical life university uh, is providing you a way to perfect, like, go there. perfect. Hopefully, these all the information will gonna be beneficial for yeah. all of us, for me, for you, and the coming ones who mm. are looking forward for study abroad. Yeah. Uh, uh, just uh, for the conclusion, uh, I have to summarize on something that uh, you did your bachelor's in the Turkey. Yeah. And you did your master's in UK. UK, yeah. Yeah. And mm. which area you find the best? So I mean, I if mean, you're gonna compare education perspective, mm. for living perspective. And mm, more, and yeah. one of the major thing is that uh, how may you get into the environment because uh, for accepting the environment is the biggest thing. Yeah. So basically, I mean, if you're like an overseas student, yeah. there's like with respect to the environment I'm speaking about. Right now, I'm speaking with respect to the environment. environment. Yeah. Now, if you're an overseas student, there's like a very high chance that you can speak English. Yeah. So with respect to the environment and you know being able to fit in in a certain society. I think that personally that you will be able to fit in 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 UK because there's there's not going to be any language barrier. Yeah. Yeah. And you would be able to find jobs as well, like part time jobs very easily because you are like it's there's a very high chance that you'll be able to speak English, that you can yeah. speak English. Yeah. So with respect to environment, UK is much better in Turkey and these types of areas. There's a language barrier. Those guys, those people don't speak like a word of English. So you're gonna have to like learn Turkish. Yeah. So I mean that would be that's a, that's not like a uh, that's that's a complicated thing. The, uh, now with that's respect, a likeness yeah, yeah. where they have to work on it. Yeah. Uh, I have one more question, which mm. is uh, that uh, how we overcome on the culture difference. The cultural difference. That's the biggest problem. With respect to, yeah, I mean, with UK, in UK, yeah, there is like a, a bit of a cultural shock when you live here and yeah. everything. But with time, everything, you, you overcome yeah. everything. I mean, when, you, you just have to give it a little bit of time. Yeah. After that, like everything, you know, goes down smoothly. I mean, you're just yeah. able to do agree. it. Agree, agree. So, yeah. just to summarize that, uh, is there any advice uh, which you could give to the international student or those who are looking forward for study abroad purposes or the immigrant? Yeah, so basically, I mean, uh, with I mean, if there is like a student who wants to study abroad, I'm gonna recommend for that student to study in these types of areas in the UK, US, or Australia. But because the thing is that I have studied in Cyprus and then I've studied in over here in the UK as well. I spent four years in Cyprus and I can like be sure I can assuredly say that UK is much better than Cyprus with regards to studying because they had they have like a practical approach to studies. With Cyprus, I was studying everything with regards to books and everything. I mean, they were like book education and these types of things. That's also good. I yeah. mean, as a, I mean, if you wanna if you wanna build on your basic knowledge, that's also like a good thing. But with this in this one year that I spent in UK, I have learned more as compared to those four years that I was studying in Cyprus. So I would recommend an international student if they have like a. I mean, I wouldn't say that don't go and study in Turkey or Cyprus. I mean, those yeah. are also good universities. Don't yeah. get me wrong. However, if you have a better alternative, if you have, yeah, agree. If you have agree. an option, because it's all UK, about yeah. the budget and what you think about the other university as well. Yeah, yeah agree. Yeah. And uh, mm. thank you so much for your precious time, for your mm. precious words. Hopefully, yeah. it will gonna be beneficial for all of us. Mm. And no worries. Lassi, Jazakallah Khair for this uh, interview. You. May Allah bless you and reward you for all these such thing which you you look for for the others as well and oh, that's all for this video inshallah we're gonna meet in the another video with uh, another project and assignment till that where well, uh, take care of yourself and your loved ones inshallah we will, we will meet in the another video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh